Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Sweet of you. I'm Kelsey, the spooky spinster. Here we talk about all things spooky, urban legends to true crime. And today, I have just that for you, my friends. A true crime story. Miss Diane Downs. I had never heard of this one before, so this was a wild research. Let's just jump right in, huh? Diane was born in Phoenix, Arizona in 1955, I believe. Um, and from what I've read, she had a pretty normal upbringing. Um, totally normal, well-behaved kid up until around the age of like 14 when she started, you know, dressing mature and dating older boys. <laughs> Scandal! Um, later when she was on trial, she would say though that her father sexually assaulted her until she was 12, but we don't really know how much truth is behind that because of what we know about her now. I mean, what can we really believe, right? Um, she graduated from Moon Valley High School in Oregon. That's where she met her husband, Steve Downs. Um, she had to go to college for one year, but was expelled for promiscuity. Wow. Um, Diane and Steve married on November 13th in 1973. They had their first child, Christy, in 74. Um, then they had their second child, Cheryl, in 76. And Stephen in 1975. But everyone called him Danny. The couple did fight a lot about money. And Steve accused Diane of cheating a lot which she probably was, and that led to their divorce in 1980 because he believed their son, Danny, um, was the result of one of her many affairs. Diane did try to get work as a surrogate, but she failed all the psychiatric tests. They showed that she was very intelligent, but psychotic. She found these results to be hilarious. Isn't she a charmer? Um, however, she did be a surrogate for someone in 1982, but there's not much said about that. She did it and handed the kid right over. <laughs> How sweet. Um, once Diane got full-time work at the post office, she often left all the kids with um, her ex-husband Steve or with her parents or his parents. And even if she didn't have a sitter, she would just leave them all at home, leaving her oldest, Christy, in charge. Christy, who is now six years old mother of the year um the kids were often very poorly dressed and underfed which raised a lot of red flags for neighbors but nothing ever came of it so i mean this could have been prevented like how many times over like if a neighbor would have just called and another thing with the psychiatric test to be a surrogate i mean wouldn't someone say something like Someone wants to be a surrogate, but she's not mentally able to do so. But she has three kids already. Is that not a red flag for anyone else? I don't know. It's a red flag for me, but I know how this story's gonna go, so. Now, this, this is where things get bad. And I know what you're thinking, it's already bad. She's leaving her kids home alone it can get worse it can always get worse in 1981 Diane met a man Nick who was married um the two began a very torrid love affair and she became obsessed with Nick she stalked him and wanted him to leave his wife for her but he quickly was like oh my god you're suffocating me and he broke things off <sighs> Q devastation. She was just heartbroken over this and she couldn't handle it. So she obviously tried to get him back and he was like, no, I don't want any part of being a dad to your kids. Wow. Logical response for anyone else would be, okay, okay, this guy's not the one. He doesn't want kids. I have kids, right? That's what you and I would do. What did Diane do? What did Diane do? I'm gonna tell you what Diane did. On May 19th in 1983, 
Dan got all three kids in the car and went down a quiet road in Springfield, Oregon, and shot all three of her kids multiple times and then shot herself in the arm, then drove them all to the hospital. By the time they arrived, Cheryl, the middle daughter, she was already dead. And then um, Danny, the boy, was paralyzed from the waist down. Um, Christy suffered a stroke which impaired her speech, but she would eventually recover. Um, which, this is just, this is weird. So she has a gun and shoots her kids in the car. Now, I'm not saying you're a bad shot, but how how do you not kill these kids? And I'm, I'm glad she didn't kill two of them and only one died. But I mean, lady, if you're trying to kill your kids, she did a bad job. Don't come for me. Weird, though. Like, she didn't try very hard. Let's move on. <laughs> Uh, Diane obviously told police that she had nothing to do with this, that a bushy-haired man came and tried to steal her car, but she fought back, so he shot her kids and her. Mm -hmm. Police just found her totally, totally sus. They said that the way she was reacting to things, like the condition of her kids and the story was just very off-putting. She just, she kept talking about contacting Nick, the ex-boyfriend who left her because she had kids and he wanted no part of that, instead of wanting to contact the kid's dad, her ex-husband. She was just all over the place talking about Nick, Nick, Nick. Like, girl, move on. He doesn't want you. <laughs> Whatever. Um, at this point, she had also lied about owning a 22 caliber gun, which was what killed her not what killed. Only one only one kid got killed. But that was the gun used to do the shooting, a 22 caliber. And she lied about having owned one, which she did. A witness also stated that she didn't speed or drive erratically at all to the hospital. And someone said that he actually had to pass her on the road because she was driving just so leisurely. Which, I mean, if that was me, I wouldn't even stop for stop signs or red lights. Like, I would be getting there as soon as I could. But... I'm sure she didn't care. But on um, the final nail in Diane's coffin was um, Christy recovering from her stroke. And she said, hey, my mom shot me and my siblings. So that, that did it for you, Diane. That's what you get. Um, February 28th, 1984, Diane was arrested and charged with murder and criminal assault. Thank the heavens. During the trial, Diane shocked everyone yet again and announced that she was pregnant at the time of the shooting. And just a month after her trial, she did give birth again to a daughter who she named Amy, but um, she got adopted and they renamed her. Thank God. Um, the lead prosecutor of the case actually adopted Christy and Danny, so that's really nice. Um, Diane was sentenced to life in prison. I think she got like um, a life sentence plus 55 years. Um, but still to this day, she maintains that she is innocent and that someone else is responsible for this, but she doesn't know who. But um, she always changes her story of like who she thinks did it or what happened that day and blah, blah, blah. Now I wish, I wish I could tell you the story ended here, but it unfortunately does not no no um on july 11th diane escaped from prison she was incarcerated at the oregon's women's correctional facility and she scaled a 18 foot razor wire fence and she evaded law enforcement for 10 days <laughs> they eventually caught her obviously and she got an extra five years added to her sentence for the escape. Good Lord, this lady is just ugh, too much for me. I mean, that smug look. Ugh. Um, She was up for parole in 2020, but as far as I found, that's been put off for some time this year. I don't, I don't know what's happening with that. She had come out and said that like the prison she was staying in, um, 
had COVID and she's very concerned that Danny and Christy are going to get COVID. She's so concerned. She wasn't concerned when she shot them, I guess, but. And that is the story of Diane Downs. I'm sure I missed a lot. Like she was kind of just a hot mess. Like even during the trial, um, they asked her to like kind of, um, reenact what happened and the whole time she was just laughing and making jokes and having a great time it's just so weird um I obviously think that she's 100% guilty like who would just come up and shoot your kids and you in the arm and then let you get away like she obviously did it they found a lot of suspicious stuff in her house too like diary entries of how much she was obsessed with this Nick guy but she couldn't be with him because she had these kids tying her down well tell me what you guys think if you like this video please give it a like please subscribe and please come back it's so thoughtful of you bye